Hey, what's going on, peeps? All right, listen, it's time the sales world stops asking this question. Stop. I have done hundreds of trainings, trained thousands of people, and this default question is destroying your credibility. And it has to stop. In discovery, if you're asking this type of question, you're literally projecting to the client that you have no idea what's going on, therefore they lose credibility, and you undermine your ability to actually positively influence the sale. And it's this simple. Every time you ask the question, how is that impacting you? How is that impacting the organization? How is that impacting the team? Every time you ask that question, how is that impacting, you're basically telling them you don't know. And you're asking them to explain it. And here's why that's messed up. If you ask a good discovery question where they say, oh, we're losing millions of dollars in, in, in inventory sitting around. Or if, you say we, if they say something like, uh, we have disparate systems and we're unable to get the team to collaborate. Or if they say anything like, um, we're unable to you know, get more clients. You would better understand the minute they say they can't get more clients or they say the, <clears throat> that our revenue is down or whatever, you would better be able to understand what the impacts might be and ask a pointed question after the fact. So if someone says, oh, we're losing millions of dollars of inventory, um, <clears throat> in inventory, we're losing millions of dollars of inventory, you don't say what's the impact, that you should ask, okay, could you tell me a little more about that? Is the inventory going to waste because it's sitting on the counter or sitting on the shelves? Is that because you're unable to sell it to customers fast enough? Is that because of this? Is that because of that? And then because of that, are you losing customers because you can't deliver the inventory on time? See that? See, if you're losing inventory, right, then you should know what happens when people lose inventory, lose money on inventory. You should already know. So do you have to reorder that inventory? So when it goes to waste, you throw it away and then you have to reorder it? Is that how you're losing the money, right? Are you unable to get it to customers on time? So they've gone to the competitors, so you're losing customers. Is your customer sat down because you're not able to get it in time? Is that money that you've used to spend on other projects so you can't get those other projects done? Like, you should know. If you're a good salesperson, you should know the impact. And therefore, don't ask that question. If you know your space, if you know your buyers, if you understand the environment you're working in, you know the problems you solve, you should already know what the impacts could be. Now, you may not know the specifics, the actual numbers, the dollars, the widgets, the time. You may not know any of that. That's fine. But you should be able to ask very targeted, pointed questions to highlight or understand what the impact is that they recognize and two, some impact they're not thinking of. That's where you win as a, as a salesperson. You literally ask, is that, is that, let me ask you this question, is that lack of inventory also affecting your warehouse space and therefore your ability to add new products or manufacture, to sell the manufacturing line because you still have stuff sitting there that isn't selling the new stuff you wanna get out, you have no place to store. Hey. Good point, you didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's doing that too. That's how you become a badass gap seller. That's how you become a trusted advisor. That's how you earn credibility and you build a relationship on credibility. Everybody stop asking that tired, old, lame question. How is that impacting your organization? Do your research, understand the space you sell in, understand the problems your buyers are having with, and have an understanding of how that is impacting them because you should know and ask very pointed questions is, is that affecting you this way? Is that impacting this? Are you seeing this happen because of that? Then they say yes, then they say no. You guide them, they trust you. They're like, this person's got mad credibility. They understand my space, they get it. I like them, let's keep talking. I think you can help me. That's how it works, people. Hope this is helpful. Let's stop, let's from this point on, everybody agree, no more. How is that impacting you? And I have another one I want you to stop saying later, but I'll do that on another video. So you know what I'm going to say until next time. Peace. I'm out.